Now, one thing, oh, it's in the daylight, so you can actually see it in the daylight. One thing I don't really know is how to open up the charge port. Now, on the leaf, you've got a thing. Oh, this one, no, it's not. It's not. Oh, that's just two stages, is it? No, it's not. No. No, I don't know. No. So you can't pop it open on that one, you can just pop it open. Right, let's have a little look. Right, where's the charge port flap? So that's the timer off. Timer off, just there. Uh, where do you open up the charge port? No, oh, that is left and right mirror there. We were looking at that last night. And that is left and right mirror. Okay, couldn't see that button there. Right, where's the charge port flap then, people? I am being dopey here. Not quite sure why, but I am. So just so you know, I'm being really, really dopey. Uh, not a clue. Not a clue how you open that charge port up. Uh, so you've got, turn that sound off there. Stability control off. Timer off or on. Depends where you want to do that. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have been looking now for around about five minutes. Okay, let's start at the top. So there is no button here for the charge port, is there? I cannot see this. It might be staring me in the face. There is a door lock button here. Lock and unlock. Yeah, that's definitely that. All right, okay, that's definitely that. Eco power button, trip computer and stuff. It's not there or there. It's not anywhere down here. It's not there. Okay, it's not down there. You've got US, you've got auxiliary in, USB, 12 volt. Uh, so it's not there. It's not here. It's not anywhere here. It's not there. That just falls out. That's a bit weird, isn't it? That's not very well put in, to be fair. Um, okay, here's now. Um, Okay, not a clue. Uh, okay, it's not on the key. So that's the that's the climate control. Double pressing it does nothing. That tries to lock it with the keys inside, obviously. That doesn't work. Um, I don't know. Okay, Matt, perhaps it's not the same as the leaf. It just says here: make sure you you power off your image two hundred. Open the charge port lid. So let's just go in, open it. I guess, does it just open without a button? Uh, no. What? Well, thank you, Nissan, for the very, very informative manual, which doesn't tell you how to access the charge port. I don't know, I cannot, I cannot see a button anywhere to do that, to open the charge port. I will be look really silly when we work it out. I'm sure of that, but at the moment, I've gone to the manual because I thought it was a sensible thing to do. Don't guess, go to the manual. Make sure you power it off. Open the charge port lid. Mmm. <laughs> okay, now what I've done is I've gone back to the main manual. Open the charge port cap. Doesn't tell you how, it just, again, it says, see, charge port cap in the three point something pre-driving checks and adjustments section. In the back of the index, I cannot find pre-driving checks and adjustments. Charge port lid, 317. You might be getting somewhere, you might be tracking it down now, the mystery of how to do it. So the, oh, hello. Ah, okay, it's hidden under there. Okay, squeeze in. Yay! Let's see what this looks like. Oh, hello. A bit dirty. Let's open that. Lovely. That's charging. It is almost, almost almost charged. So, but got the uh, rapid port there, which you probably very rarely ever use, and got this one. So I need to swap out that with a seven kilowatt one. Okay, that's on charge. Get the most out of that. Make sure it's a secure day for her. But there it is. So of course I've got to um, get her registered. So I'm going to register the car wings, and then. Uh, Set her up on her phone. Okay, and straight away a problem, as you'd expect. Uh, registration, it's not on the database apparently. 
Please set your numbers correct. Make sure that your number provided no space, blah, 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 or contact to continue your U, U plus Nissan registration. So it wouldn't go swimmingly because it never, ever has done this uh, car wing system. Okay, so we're just going to go out here and the kids are going to come out in a second and they're going to surprise them with it because they'll be quite excited about Mummy's new car, I suspect. Let me say goodbye to this lovely one. But <clears throat> where is it? Where's that tailpipe? There. Let's go in. And then we can't go very far. Now we're all trapped in the Gloucestershire area only. Can't go any further than that. We're stuck in that circle. Only joking. Well, kind of. It is. What are you guessing it is? A van. A van? How do you know that? Yeah. I don't think it's a van. Oh, what? hang on a minute. I didn't know it. Yeah, I knew about this. I knew about this. <laughs> I knew about this. Are you keeping this? Yeah, it's Mummy's new one. That's going. We're selling Mummy's diesel. I didn't even know. How did you know you said it was a van? Yeah, it is. So, Joe, why did you say you looked out the window? Yeah, he did. Look how the door's open. Joe, Joe, look how the door's open. When I was in the living room, it's like a minibus. It's a minibus. No, it's not. It's a van. Seven-seater. Oh, oh, my goodness. It's a combi, it's called. Oh, I mean, and this is when it gets nice and trash, which we're going to... Especially if the dog gets <laughs> in it. If yeah, the dog, dog gets in it. If the dog gets in it. If kids get in it, they climb all over the seat. So you need something fairly rugged. Despite it being brand new, how long is that going to last, I wonder? Not very long. I'm going to go around the other side. Oh, it's electric, yeah. Electric van. Don't encourage Bruce in. Don't encourage him in. Don't want him in. <laughs> it came yesterday, yeah. Last night. No. It was a whole saga. It was on the van back to front, and you can see all the flies. There we go. <sighs> Lovely. Probably midnight last night. Daddy came in. I am talking. Daddy came in, and he said. Look, there's something outside, and I thought it'd be a wild boar. He said, I've been watching it for ages, and I said, what is it, a dinosaur? And he showed me up the lane, and I couldn't see it, and I thought it was deer, I expect, and it's all run away. Or maybe, you never know, he looked quite excited, so maybe it was even a panther, because you never know, they are around the forest. And then I looked behind me, and this was here, and I just thought, oh, that's somebody's next door. It's their car, because I didn't recognise it. And he said, it was my car. Should we go for a drive in it? We need to put their seats in then, don't we? Yeah, you do. 35, yeah. Right, now we're in. Let's have another look. First family drive out. He wants to bring his toy, so he's been crying. He wanted to sit by Toby, so he's been crying. And then these two haven't, which is a good start. Right, so we've got two seats up in the back. Two seats here, one down there, so we just get in easily. Amy's here. Right. Where, have you got some money? Have I got some money? Not anymore. Dogs look in there. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, we could actually, because then we could meet He's you. Going. It we says 82 you. miles. So. Dogs thinking, you, you left me behind. In fact, that you left me behind. Let's press think, OK on that. What have I got to do? OK, Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. Right, here we go. Look, I've got. Oh, this is a bit scary, actually. Just let me take my time here. You've got all oh, the mirrors. You can adjust, by the way. See the button down there, which I can't see on the camera. Yeah, I get it. Now. And I then it. you can choose the mirror. But that so view is very dipped down, isn't it? Yes, it is. I noticed that. Is there a way of adjusting that? Let me pop it and have a quick look. It doesn't look very far, this camera. I'm trying to get run over. No, that, that is it. That is the view. <laughs> That's a bit, a bit naff. So only, it only actually, you can sort of see just about to here. <laughs> but never mind. Better than nothing, I suppose. Beggars can't be choosers. Then we'll do something else, okay? Right, and here we are. I think your lights are on, but. This way? I'm pretty sure I'm they are. Just do that, yeah? Yeah, that's it. They're off now. I'll save a bit of power. Only because I thought they were on auto. I thought you said they were on auto. No, you've got several options here. Can you put it on auto for me, please? Auto's Wait, there. Be... Auto turns it on for some reason. So they think they should be on. Not sure why. Let's turn that off then. Hmm, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Considering it's uh, daylight. It's a cloudy day. It's not that dark. We we'll have to test that again on a nice sunny day to see if that does still come on. All right. Oh, when I look in the mirror at the kids, it looks like they're in a bus. They're in a, a minibus. Mini bus. 
Minibus. It is like a mini bus, isn't it? It's a mini bus, it would be a bit longer. Do you no, think? Why no, is that? No. This is a mini mini bus. It's a mini mini bus, lovely. There we go. What do you think so far? Yeah, of a nice quiet ride. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so we're just downloading the phone, we've connected it all up. Oh super wobbly filming it. Shuffling along quite nicely. It's actually quite warm in here, isn't it? It's temperature outside, 15C. With all of us in here, it's warms up quite nicely. I feel like I'm cold. going really fast, but I'm only going at 46. No, you're going at 46. We've got a massive queue of traffic behind us. I know, but it feels to me <laughs> like I'm going really fast. We've kicked up about 20 cars. It's because I'm high up. Yeah, you're doing it about 40 miles an hour. Yeah, we were in the middle of the forest. <laughs> yeah. Where deers can run in front of you. We're just going to have a quick drive. A wild boar. It's not a quick drive, it's a real slow drive, but it's only about a mile. I don't want on the front. Downloaded, so that's that done. Contacts downloaded. Lovely. Okay, we're just going through. I'm just sat in here now while she's popping to get a Greg's, and I'm having a quick look. And this menu, um, you can actually cycle through, and it gives you quite a lot of details. So tire pressures, which is brilliant. Didn't have that on my Leaf. I suspect this is part of the Techno package, is it? That's good. We like that. You can't seem to get the startup sound though, which is a bit odd. Um, but there's a battery percentage, which is pretty neat. So if you that's used about the same as my leaf. So that's interesting. Come in here, I know exactly where we are. I know the journey usually. That's the battery temperature. Battery capacity shows you that. Um, so yeah, so the percentage. But what um, settings, let me have a look, detail. We thought the startup sound was in effects, but it just says on or off and it is on. You say on and that's it. Um, so not sure really what why that is. Um, but yeah, the settings are in there, which is pretty neat. A whole range of stuff. Cool. Sorted. The only thing that's not sorted is car wings yet. Okay, figured out the auto lights thing. Um, what happened was the front fog lights were on. Um, when an auto is on, the front fog lights on, it turns them on and makes the screen go dark as if the lights were on. But now with it off and on auto, we're all good. There's no reflection at the front. It's all good. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, Where's my wallet? Oh, I found a wallet. Do you think? Keep what it. Do you think? <laughs> Amy's new car. This is something else, isn't it? Oh. Oh, Toby, your scooter's so cool. got jammed in the door. You need to pick up your scooter, mate. Ruby, you can come out. What <laughs> Ruby? Half past 11 it was, yeah, when it came. Well, they're meant to sausage roll now. Yeah. <laughs> sausage roll now. Ready? Start, Mary. No. Oh, it's on. It's on. Where was it? Ow! Right there. Yeah. Right, let's do that way. Yeah, go. I'm just going to press the starter motor. Hold on, Toby's speaking. Right, just going to press the starter motor. Oh, there we go. It was that one. Didn't you need to get it? No. Right, let's do it again. So look at me. And I'm going to go, I'm just going to press the start mirror, and then I'm going to go like this, and you're going to follow my hand down, and you're going to go to the start mirror. Ready? Yeah, go. Right. I'm going to press the starter motor. Take five. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, let's drive off. First time I've driven this. Don't worry about me, I'm a fool. <laughs> first time I've driven this, down, apart from down the road when I first got it. And that's it, so I haven't driven it properly. That means I could drive it better than you. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Bye, bye boys and girls. Bye, bye. Grandad. Right. Say bye, Grandad. Bye, 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 Grandad. Grandad's running in the road. He's running. He's running. Bye. Is he going to win? Let him win. Let him win. Bye. 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 You're going to let them win. That's what. Oh, are you? That's what you're supposed to do. I'm too slow, aren't you? <laughs> bye. Well, see you later. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's whoa, whoa, whoa? I'm going to turn the sound off. That's go, go, go. Bye, bye, bye. bye. See ya! I've turned the speaking noise off now. Alright, we've got 88% battery. So, head on back home before we run out. Otherwise, we won't be going anywhere today. Look at this, got some poke in this thing, isn't it? Woohoohoo! I'm gonna heat my.
my steering wheel out. Hold on. Oh, my hands were slightly chilly. Might actually uh, warm them up slightly. Am I going to work? It's funny, isn't it? Good question. Loaded question that was. Are you actually going to work anytime soon, Daddy? Yeah, I'm going to work, yeah. This is warm already. There is loads of room to throw your teddies around. Can you keep my seats, Daddy? No, not yours, only the front ones. Yeah, that's all it does. No, we can keep the front one as well. No. Are you being serious? Yes. No, I'm freezing. Right, yo. Oh, this steering wheel's lovely, isn't it? Nice, In winter, that is going to be absolutely lovely. This is a very, very nice drive, I must admit. Really, really high up, and it feels really, really planted. It's such a nice vehicle to drive. And you can rest your hand on this gear selector, inverted commas gear selector. Oh, it's just a really, really nice car. Really, really nice. Real pokey, put your foot down, it goes. Nice and high up, big, wide windscreen. You can't see the bonnet particularly, it just dips away in front of you. Nice, massive mirrors. <laughs> see what's going on really really easily the heated seats heated steering wheel really really nice as I've mentioned once already climate control set at 30 degrees we don't need that let's bring that down to about a reasonable figure about 18 that's actually put the air conditioning on now so it's more than 18 in here so this it does heat up this this warms up in here quicker than the leaf the leaf doesn't really I don't understand it at all when I said earlier it feels warmer in here it is don't know why, can't explain that. Very nice though, liking it. <laughs> That's the Roman road. I'm standing on the Roman road. Oh, right, so we're in the aftermath of second EV-ness. Um, one thing I just wanted to quickly mention is actually taking some of the pressure off having two EVs because we try and use mine as much as possible. Like now I'm coming back from work, it's 10 to 8 in the evening, um, and typically she might jump straight in it to go out. And then you're looking at it going, well, we've only got 50% left, so when you get some charge, there's not enough time to have a charge on where you're going to have to use your diesel. Well, of course, now, don't need to worry about that at all. I can go back. Doesn't matter if I've got 20% left. As long as she's been back a while, which she would have been because she'd be waiting for me to come back so she can go out. Um, that's what it's like when you've got kids. It's a lot of you probably know. Um, she will already have a charge because she can charge whilst waiting for me to come back. So it's no issue at all. So it's actually relieved some of the pressure opposed to actually increasing pressure. So just thought it was worth noting that. One thing that has been bugging me is that aerial. So I'm going to try get up on the car <laughs> push that back oh look at that lovely clicked into position as well I'm actually out of position might be all the radar doesn't work properly okay well those problems i had this morning i seem to have accidentally come across a way of fixing it you need to go to uplus.nissan.co.uk and then register for car wings and then when you enter details onto that part of the website it just works. You enter all your details um, and you go ahead and it seems fairly straightforward. So there we go. That's solved that problem. Uplus.nissan.co.uk if you're struggling. Right, and I didn't get the email um, confirming setup of it, so I just tried to log in anyway and it seems to have worked. And now it's asked me to come out to the car. You need to register the user ID from the vehicle navigation system. So I've just come out now. In the middle of the night, it's charging up, so it ain't gonna start up. 24th of the 8th, that's the right date. Does it though give me the... Can I? Can't start, I know that. I'm just trying to find the panel, I cannot. Estimated charge to charge, one hour 20. Hmm. Always do these things at 11 o'clock at night. 93%. Uh, right, okay. Let's start this up. Because we've got a bit of a fight going on, there's mine out there. And it is literally fighting now for the... Uh, Right, okay, press that, car wings, car wings, mm, car wings settings, oh, oh, this heat's heating up, that's lovely, press the car wings button, 
Go to car wings, uh, car wings settings, security settings, and then you enter your user ID and password and say activate security settings. Okay, let's press OK. Activate security settings. User ID must be sent, sent to activation send now. Yes, I don't think there's a signal there. Please wait and see what this does. So I'm not sure there's actually a signal out here, but here we go. We've got that going and that going. Okay, it says connecting. Do -de do do do. So I'll be able to do this without help from support, which is quite good. If it actually connects, it might just be because there's no signal. And Amy's phone has only just got a signal, as you can see here. It seems to suggest it's connecting. It might come back and say failed. Uh, it said failed. Do you want to retry? Let's try again. Connect to information center. And I'll come back to you. It did it for about two or three minutes, but it hasn't got anywhere, so unfortunately. Okay, it keeps failing, so I am heading up to see if I can find somewhere with a nice phone signal, data signal, so I'll see if that's what the problem is. Ooh, we've got a signal. So as long as I've entered the user details correctly. To use calling servers. You need to create an account. I have created an account. I've logged in with it. That is the details there. So activate security settings. Yes. Uh, hmm. Okay. I've logged in with this account. But perhaps it's not activated or something? Maybe. Okay, so I'll just retype the details in. I think I actually used the wrong user ID. I think I was using her email address rather than a custom user ID you have to set up. Um, so we'll see if it works. Please work. Please be right. Yes, right. So now, boom. So we should be activated. So if I go to Car Wings and I go Update Stations, it should just Connect start to information center. updating them. Uh, I'll let that do its thing. I know it takes some time. Here is Carvings on the app. Let me just log in and see if it now just works and shows the status of this car. Please work. Oh, one charging station updated. Oh, no, it's in. We are in. Excellent. ENV 200, there it all is. Right, and let's just refresh. It should be able to get a live reading out of what we've got on there. That's pretty neat. One thing I have noticed is the camera is very low. Actually, I like to be able to see a little bit higher than you'd know if somebody was behind you. So when I'm reversing, probably shouldn't do this. <laughs> there we go. It's quite low, lower than the leaf. I quite like to see a bit more of a view than that. So we've come out for the first time in our new car. It was a very excited feeling this morning, wasn't it? When we opened the front door and I'd forgotten that this was on the drive, I'd kind of been busy packing the picnic and going packing bags for holiday tomorrow so uh, when I opened the door and got this surprise again it was really nice so we're all we're all in apart from one today she's just dropped off Toby's out and we're gonna have our picnic at Lydney Docks and we're going to be hiding rocks for Forest of Dean rocks if you don't know what Forest of Dean rocks is then you have to look it up on Facebook Forest of Dean rocks everybody's painting and hiding rocks all over the Forest of Dean and it got on the news today so we're going to do some painting and work today. We're going well, to look for some rocks, aren't we? Adventure. What have you brought with you? I've done, I brought some Lego and Lego Ninja and Batman. Cool. Look what I can make. In the park? That's the, the word it's the I, I can make this noise with my teeth. Excellent. So, some scooters. And that has some panels on it. And I also packed in the back. I love having all this space. It's great, isn't it, Jacob? Yeah. All we've packed. We've got wellies under the seat. Sorry, it's not actually as neat as it would be. We've got the buggy, which is great because the buggy normally takes up a whole seat in my other car. Buggy, another scooter. And if you looked underneath the seats, that was Jacob being silly on my door. We've got our bag of wellies. And the great thing is, there's places to store bags and things under the seat so our picnic blankets under that seat there's another bag with coats because obviously 
And we've got the kids who need coats and wellies. So here we go at the harbour. Off we go to hold and paint some rocks. Another really great thing about this car is um, I've managed to put my cat off. It fits perfectly in this little holder here. So I can put my pot noodle there. Look. Take that one out. We need a little support in there. Oh, wrong way. Car kettle. So let's boil up my kettle and make my picnic. So um, we were just two lovely old people over there. Just got out and were very interested in this car. I said how nice it looked and how much space they had. Five children themselves and would have liked to have had something like this in their day. So let's see if my kettle's boiled. Yes, it's very hot. So I'm going to make my pot noodle. Look at the little table down there, a little table here. Mummies, you're gonna love this. Just got back. Um, it's done half make a noise, it's charging. It's almost at 100%. And it's uh, making a nice fan noise, really noisy. You can hear it, I suspect, can't you? Causing the battery, presumably, which is different. Of course that one doesn't do it, I've got the fan in there. But I arrived back home and it's on charge. All good to go.